Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Secretary, on June 27th of this year, you were briefed in advance of your meeting with President Obama by advisors on Solyndra. Um, were you specifically briefed about the company's financial health, and were you told the company was on a path to bankruptcy at uh, that time? When was the date again? June 27, 2001, before you met with 2011? the President. 2011? 2011, yes, before you met with the President, sir? Were you briefed uh, about the financial problems of the company on a path to bankruptcy? By around that time, I was certainly aware of the fact that uh, they were going to go they were, well, Did you they speak were with the trouble. President about that time, about the status of Solyndra's uh, financial problems? No, I didn't. Uh, it, that when we meet with the President, it's not about a particular transaction. It was a, actually a much higher level discussion about... I appreciate that. Um, uh, let me ask that a little bit more then. Mr. Secretary, when Solyndra came to DOE in the fall of 2010 and explained it was running out of cash, did DOE consider at any time just letting the company go bankrupt? Uh, I think uh, this is always uh, something that we consider if it looks that... Oh, that was an option? That was an that option? It, it is. Every time we are dispersing funds, if the company, if any company looks like it has a high probability of going into bankruptcy, now the, the, you, the, one goes into another mode where you say what will be the best path right. for the law as said, much as possible. The original 2005 bill said that can't, you shouldn't be giving loans to companies that appear they can't pay back the principal and interest. You're aware of that? that uh, part absolutely. Of it. Okay. Now, yet you made a decision, even though you're aware that's an option, just let them go bankrupt, you made a decision to move forward anyways. Sorry. Is there, is there a specific wording in any law that says you don't have to follow the, the, the law that says you can't give them money if they can't make it? If you're talking about the, in the original loan, uh, we made a decision to fund Solyndra. The credit subsidy score, which reflects you can't give the, money the probability if they're not pay it back. of the loan. Pardon? I, but, you, but the law says you cannot give them money if they're not going to pay it back. And I'm asking, is there some law you're citing that gave you permission to override the law that says you don't have to? We're not. We weren't uh, going against the, the law. Uh, the law says. I, well, I, I hope. Only can so I'm asking if you could cite something for me and get back to us to show us where in the law it says you don't have to pay attention to the law. That's what I want to know. Sure. Let me ask uh, we paid very close attention to the law. The law says that we can only make a loan where there's a, a, a likelihood of being paid back. I understand, so but it when, sounds like you're saying a subjective decision was here no. based upon things you're citing about China and solar power, et cetera. But let me ask about this. So you testified that, quote, I approve restructuring of the loan guarantee to give taxpayers the best chance at recovery. You just made a decision here. Did you weigh in with Jonathan Silver and tell him to restructure the loan? No. Now, on September 14th, I asked Mr. Silver during our hearing about the decision to restructure. I said, and I quote, did the Secretary of Energy have anything to do with this decision? And he said, not to my knowledge. So my question is, Silver says you were not, you says you were involved with this decision. Who's no. telling the truth here? Sorry. Um, the decision to restructure was something the loan program developed and brought to me for approval. Uh, and so th that's the precise nature of what was going on. Going back to uh, making a loan and thinking that there is a high chance of recovery or a reasonable prospect of recovery, which is what the law states, I have to say that given the credit subsidy risk, the, the loan loss reserve for this particular loan was 7.8 percent. That, roughly speaking, it gives a 7.8 percent probability that the loan will get into trouble. 7.8 well, percent. 7.8 percent. So well, we have high likelihood. Treasury, OMB, Mm -hmm. People from Solyndra uh, and people from the White House who mm -hmm. said the uh, government is a crappy venture capitalist. So that sounds like a number of people are sending information on to you, but we have established in my previous question of you, I'm not sure that even your chief of staff has told you about meetings or what's taking place. Now, so you're a scientist, and I'm also trained in science. And one of the things that we are trained in is do not avoid, in fact, seek out information which may contradict your paradigms and your premises. That's important. That's how science moves forward in this. But here, you are aware now the Treasury Department suggests that DOE get a legal opinion on the restructuring of this loan. And you are aware that uh, other federal agencies are, are recommending this. But now what, what puzzles me, sir, is it sounds like you have acknowledged that this is a subjective decision for other reasons, even though the law says you can't give money if they can't pay it back. And with a subjective decision and with your background in science, 
And even though staff around you knew this, you're saying that you didn't have this information or you didn't seek out this information to make that decision? I'm, I don't understand what goes into subjective decision then. First, let me go back to the uh, determination. If the OMB, which is very independent of us, makes a credit subsidy determination and comes up with 7.8 percent, that's effectively saying uh, but I'm the saying probability But I'm saying Treasury said you should have consulted oh, you're, you're, and get a legal opinion uh, on the subordination. You're conflating part. two issues. One is when we make the loan in the first place. And we would not make a loan if there was not a reasonable chance of being paid back. Sir, but fact, other people are telling you that there is a strong chance it will get paid back. Even a memo that says this company is going to go bankrupt, liquidity is gone by September 2011, and that is when they did. That is more than a 7.8 percent chance. My concern is <clears throat> that with this, you had a lot of information coming at you, even though the law says you cannot give money if they are not going to pay it back. But you made a subjective decision, which I think is a, runs against the law. I yield back. 